Corktown is Detroit's oldest neighborhood. It lies just outside the downtown district. Corktown is the home of Slow's Barbecue, the former Michigan Central train depot, and includes the land where Tiger Stadium once stood. A new exhibit has recently opened at the Detroit Historical Museum, highlighting this area. So first, can you give us some highlights of this new exhibit here? Certainly. Um, highlights are that this is an exhibit um, sort of um, uh, emphasizing that Corktown development uses its history as a development tool. And we're manifesting the effort in a project referred to as the Workers' Row House Project. And the Workers' Row House Project is a historic building um, built as a tenement uh, in 1849 and 50, and it is a site that we're developing to attract tourism. We're doing a lot of research on the house. We've ha just finished um, restoring the exterior to the 1850s. Uh, research is going on on the inside of the house um, uh, to determine the restoration uh, of each one of the units. There are three units, so we're working on that effort. And not only do we have this exhibit, here at the Historical Museum, but we also have the exhibit at Wayne State University at the Museum of Anthropology at, that's located at Old Main. And what's on exhibit there are objects from the archaeological dig that was completed in 2008. The lab work is completed. Highlights of this are to focus, this exhibit to focus not only on the row house itself, but also other parts of Corktown, including the current projects that we're working on other than the row house. All right, so um, what are one or two pieces uh, here that people would definitely want to check out in this exhibit? Well, mm, a signature piece, I think it's the kitchen table. The kitchen table is a symbol of where folks, uh, working class folks, kind of um, uh, work their lives and live their lives around and use it as a focal point in their lives. Um, the kitchen table comes from the row house itself. Um, it's, it's a strong metaphor for all of Corktown and working class folks. And also I think the, the array of uniforms um, the uniforms that are hung up in the back kind of symbolize uh, the variety of working uh, folks and the uniforms they have to wear. So I understand that uh, Tiger Stadium was a part of Corktown, and you got some of the items over there. What can you tell us about those? Well, certainly uh, a huge part of the history of Corktown. Um, uh, Tiger Stadium is in, still located in the heart of, of what's now Corktown. Corktown used to be much larger when there was baseball being played there at the turn of the last century. Corktown went all the way into downtown. Um, certainly a role in uh, social activity for Detroit in general, but mm, specifically it was a venue for work and for play for residents of Corktown. Um, it is uh, without a doubt a huge chunk of history uh, that uh, was played out at Tiger Stadium. And the community is very active in seeing that um, there be positive development to that site and hopefully some honoring of the history of that site. So there isn't a Corktown piece of history that somehow or another doesn't lead back to Tiger Stadium. Now, what are we looking at right here? Well, um, in front of the, the, the examples of uh, uniforms that workers wear or wore, um, we have a, a, an architect's model of the block that includes now Slow's Restaurant. What this represents, it was an initiative by Greater Corktown Development Corporation in the early part of this century, in around 2001, 2002. Our um, former executive director uh, of Greater Corktown and um, board members began to acquire these sites. Each one of these sites, each one of these storefronts was derelict, vacant and abandoned and in a mess. So what we did as an agency is we went out and knocked on doors, made offers, and purchased those properties, and then set out a request for a proposal. We also got the Mercury Bar that way as well, through tax reversion. 
So we put out for requests and proposals, and we had people come in, and what we made them do is prove that they could develop these properties within a reasonable period of time that would have a business on the first floor and residential, reestablish the residence on the second floor. Kind of a new twist to live work, but it's actually a 19th century piece. That's how people did. They had the mom and pop stores in the apartment above. Um, the first two are Slow's Restaurant. The third one in the middle is O'Connor Real Estate, and the other three are still being renovated, but the second floors are all lived in. The Mercury Bar, of course, the, the coffee bar didn't last, but there are apartments above, and there is soon to be another facility opening up on the first floor of Mercury Bar. So this is an example of the initiatives that Greater Corktown inv uh, invests in to create community. It's not just housing, it's also e economic development, and history has played a huge role in making it more interesting and unique. Any other comments on the exhibit here or Corktown? Um, I think you got it in a nutshell, and I appreciate the opportunity to share it with the community. Corktown has a lot to be proud of, and in spite of the economy, I think we demonstrate a, a vital and a critical piece to uh, having a healthy city and a uh, healthy region. And uh, I think we can demonstrate we're an example of success. Corktown works. The Corktown exhibit will be on display until April 25th. Tickets are $6 for adults, $4 for senior citizens, college students, and kids aged 5 through 18. The Detroit Historical Museum is located at 5401 Woodward Avenue, right across the street from the DIA. Reporting in downtown Detroit, Jason Residlow for AmericaJR.com.